Hello and welcome to day 17 of 101 Facebook Lives. Today I want to talk about your part on healing and manifesting the prophetic word. And this is kind of like an impromptu thing because I've been seeing so many prayer requests on my Facebook newsfeed for healing. And a lot of the people on the Facebook requesting for healing are very familiar with healing and receiving healing, receiving their prophetic word from God. And um, if you don't get a miraculous healing, meaning instantly healed right at that moment, that means that you have a process to cooperate, to co-create, and something to do that participates in your healing. Some, something to do, but more of uh, being in the practice of your new reality. So you have to, and I'm speaking from experience, so it's, it's something that I've experienced in the past, that when you receive a prophetic word or a healing, when somebody tells you that you're healed, and that you're free from addiction. And you're like, okay, thank you. And yeah, but I'm still struggling with this, this, and this. Your part is the embodiment of that word. Meaning at the moment that word is spoken, it is your new reality. It is something that's already within you, but at the times of struggle, we don't see it within us. We think that we're lost that we're so sick uh, um, within our situation, we don't see that. And God sends somebody to give us a prophetic word of healing or an encouraging word to get us out of being stuck. And our part is the embodiment of that. Practicing our new reality, despite of what we feel on the outside and despite how we feel on our five senses. So, being free from addiction or being healed from an illness, from what I've experienced, the best way to embody your healing as we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by the spirit and not in the flesh, right? It's from the moment you wake up, when you're still barely waking up and you're still not engage with your five senses of what your pain, your problems from yesterday and your problems that you're going to face today is to just be still and practice the feeling, the thoughts, the emotions and the energy of your new reality, which is healed which is free from addiction. And how that may look like is just sitting in your bed or laying on your bed and really feeling it in your heart, really sensing the healing and asking Holy Spirit to enlarge this in every area of your life to where it becomes so familiar to you how it feels like to be healed, to be free before you even get out of bed, that it, you take that feeling and you take that reality throughout your day. And of course, like throughout the day, you're, you're going to come back again and again and again but it's just that first thing in the morning when you're still in an alpha brainwave state of relaxation and not to engage with all the problems of the world, you can practice that new reality of being healed and sit there and really receive and really feel it in every part of your body, your healing, feel your cells, being renewed. Our atoms are made up of 99% 
empty space. Meaning 1% of your atom is matter. The other 99% is empty space. So there's a bigger, way bigger part of you that is invisible. And we all know that there's no such thing as empty space because God feels all in all. And so in that 99% of who you are as a human, as a human being is 99% infinite possibilities that you can plug into every morning when you wake up and decide that that's going to be your reality and not focus on battling the devil. It's just not the way. The way is to contemplate the new, to embody the new, because the new is truly greater in the spiritual side of it and the physical side of it, which 99% of what you're made of, which is an atom, is empty space. There's no such thing as empty space. God feels all in all. That means 99% of our reality is infinite possibilities of healing, of abundance, of every dream and greatest expression of yourself that is possible. And so locking in with that, fighting a good fight of faith, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen, Faith is, a, faith is a substance. A substance is matter. Matter is energy. It's very tangible. And we live in the evidence of things that are not seen. So I hope that helps somehow because I know it's so real, the battles that, are, that people are fighting right now, fighting for their healing. But what if you don't have to fight so much? What if you just have to allow it in a very real way? Because it's true that the odds are for you and not against you. The way your body is made, your physiology is so compatible with healing, is so compatible with wholeness, is so compatible with abundance. It's how we are made. It is our birthright to be healed. It is our birthright to be rich. It is our birthright to live this life in victory. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow.